Hi guys, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. Welcome to my channel. This is Neela, and today we are doing another pick a card. And the question that we are going to be looking at is what kind of energy is coming in your life? What's coming in? We'll focus more on the energy part of it as to what you can expect, what is going to turn out, and etc. etc. Basically, we're looking at what's coming ahead energy wise. If it's a, if it's the energy of a person, if it's a particular energy that will come in you. We will see that whatever has to come okay so i'm again using my seashells which i have got from my trip and i got a lot of them so pile number one is this brown color seashell pile number two is this oyster i think yeah there's a half a piece of it and pile three is this one okay so one two and three so you can pause the video, just relax, take a deep breath and focus on whichever pile is attracting you the most and we'll begin. All right, you'll begin with number one. What kind of energy is coming in your life? We'll let, um, okay. Let's use this new deck that I got. What kind of energy is coming in your life? Okay. Right away. Hmm. I am seeing that it's a connection, a connection coming in your life, which will rekindle a lot of emotions inside you, a spark, something that was dead will come to life. That's the energy. You've tried to resist this energy for a very long time and the resistance has been from both the sides. It's not only you, it could be the other person also in the picture. But now it is not doable. Now you really cannot resist this energy any longer because this is meant to be at this point. I am also seeing that this is like a wish fulfillment. You kind of manifested this, but right now this is a phase where there is a lot of confusion whether this will work out or this will not work out. I don't know. That phase is quite confusing. All right, one more thing that I'm seeing is that this is a very transformative connection. This is definitely to do with love, pile number one. If it is not, then this is not your pile. This is a very transformative connection and the energy that it brings is also very surreal. Sometimes scary that, oh my God, something like this can be true. Is it true? Can it happen? We don't know. And surprisingly, what I'm seeing is that both the people in this picture are wanting something. Okay, but there is this desire to suppress. Now, I don't know why. Let's see that. Let's see what else we pick up from here.
या बिकॉज आई थिंक there were problems related to a certain mindset which is connected to balance and stability basically what i am picking up over here is that somehow this relationship doesn't fit into the picture of what you visualized to be your life and which is why there is so much of conflict around this situation that you're scared majorly the conflict is because a i think there's going to be some restrictions from family tradition uh cultural mindset basically that stops this connection from growing um but then this is a very earthy block that i'm seeing energetically because we're looking at the energy energetically nothing can block the two of you from coming together because this is a divine connection this is a divine connection it's a true soul connection which is meant to be and even if the two of you are far apart this connection will somehow pull the two of you together however restrictions continue there are a lot of i mean your mind is the biggest restriction then there are other interferences that are restrictions so the restrictions continue but let's see will this continue to be there you have to dive deep into your emotions and understand what is your definition of happiness you cannot let someone else define your definition of happiness can't it just cannot happen this energy requires you to deep dive into yourself a lot okay and there can be multiple people coming up with multiple opinions but you cannot consider that you're supposed to consider what makes you happy i am also seeing that this connection takes you closer to spirituality like your own truth like your own wisdom it takes you there all right um and because you're going to dive de i mean dive deep to understand your true emotions you will then also understand a lot of other things that are important in your life there are other people who could be cluttering your mind and so for that person as well for the other person also i'm seeing that there could be other external influences that could be acting up over here okay but um listen to yourself your inner voice okay now let me just see look at what was there the ring but let's see what what more about this energy there's no point escaping this energy because it'll keep coming back to you in different forms ways turns twists it'll just keep coming back in your life so honestly there is no point trying to resist it live it and let it go see what it has to offer because i do see it's a very strong connection that exists between the two of you Okay 
all right so that's what i have for pile one i hope this helps let me know in the comments private readings are open so you can reach out to me and i'll see you soon again bye bye okay let's move to pile two whoever chose this uh, shell Let's see what kind of energy is approaching you or entering your life. What kind of energy? What kind of energy is coming towards you? Somebody is trying to reach out to you through telepathy. This could be someone who you've known from your childhood. Somebody who wants to communicate with you and tell you what they are going through. And the reason is that only you would understand this, which is why they're trying. It's a telepathic message that I'm seeing. And you might feel this energy very heightened during the moon phases. Also, protect your energy, pile number two. You need to be careful of who you are investing your time and energy with. Use a black obsidian, please, because that will help you uh, ward off any kind of negative energy away from you. Because I see a little element of vindictivity in this person who wants to communicate. So this person is not doing anything witchy, but it's more of like... It's more of like um, wanting to tell you something. But what is that? Let's see. Okay, there is some truth hidden from you right now about a particular situation and this person wants to communicate that hidden truth to you. Um, somewhere I feel you've closed your vision to certain things you don't want to know or maybe you've stopped believing someone or you don't want to listen to someone, something like that. So I am seeing that this person wants to open up your eyes to this situation. This person wants to tell you that, hey, look at that direction as well. There is something that you don't know. But what is it around? It's very mysterious, pile too. What is it around? You've come to a conclusion about something and that is not the correct conclusion because you have concluded this based on what you have seen. There are certain things that you have not seen and considered and which is why this person who wants to connect with you telepathically or maybe if you're seeing signs, energies, etc, etc, it is pointing in that direction so that you see that perspective as well.
But let's see. What's ahead of this for you? Yeah, I kind of knew it. Number two could be very significant. You will hold on. As in like, you will not conclude this. Once you see that image, I don't think you're going to conclude anything. You're going to stop. Your conclusions will stop. You will not rush into taking any kind of decision right now. You will pause. Because this info might just confuse you a bit. This info might just reveal something that is okay. Now that I know this, what the hell am I supposed to do? So you're going to be in that little bit of a stuck energy is what I'm picking up. This could be to do with a relationship. Maybe you, you, you want to be with someone and that person is not showing you their true colors. And there is a, another woman or a man in the picture who would want to communicate the truth to you so that you know. This pause is good. You need to because maybe you are about to take some kind of a decision which might not be very good for you. So listen to those signs. Yes, listen to those signs because I'm seeing that you don't have to rush into any decision at the moment. You don't have to. If you wait it out, I think you will take a better decision in this situation. Okay, pile two, that is what I'm roughly picking up for you guys. So yes. Halt. Like, I mean, if you're seeing some signs, synchronicities that are asking you to hold on, then don't overhear it. I think hold on, okay? Because there's more to be revealed in this situation. Um, and your way of looking at things might just shift and change. Okay, pile two? That is what I have. I hope this reading helps. Uh, private readings are open, so you can reach out to me. And let me know in the comments if this reading resonated. All right? Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, let's move to pile number three, whoever chose this seashell. Let's see, what kind of energy is coming towards you? What kind of energy or what is it? Whatever the universe wants to tell us through tarot cards. What kind of energy wants to come through? Okay. All right. I see the energy of a person in your life who will show you a mirror. Who's going to tell you that you have created a lot of problems in your life on your own. And accepting that will be a problem. This could be a woman or a feminine energy who's going to do this. However, I'm seeing something mystical around this lady. She might just, it's a feminine energy. She might just be able to show you the true picture of something. And that might lead you to suddenly, you know, all, all those 
castles in the air all that happiness that you had built around a particular situation all of that will come shattering down but it is for the good i'll clarify it's like a reveal it's like a reveal of sorts yeah it is good it is good for you i know pile 2 and 3 are a little linked yes because the amount that you considered this situation to be important it is not that important it is not as important as you thought this situation to be you need to conserve your energy from this situation immediately i think because there is this element of toxic positivity that i'm seeing over here that maybe somewhere you're like uh, i don't want to see the red flags i am i am like fine this way i don't want to know you're being very positive about it which is very good you can be positive but you can't be toxic positive and this lady is going to show you the true mirror and you might hate this lady you might hate her you might not like it but i am seeing that this lady is going to show you the true path and she's also going to show you that how capable you are to make something happen you think of yourself to be very uh stupid but that's not the truth sorry to use the word if anyone gets offended but whatever i pick up i have to say so you're not that you're not stupid you're not someone who who cannot see things or cannot visualize things it's not like that it's just that this person knows you and this person is willing to take that risk of being hated but this person still wants to tell you the truth there is fear here there's definitely fear here let me take some more cards yeah but behind that fear is your life you have to cut cut through this fear and then the place where you land you will be super happy about where you have come um one more thing i'm picking up that the day the number 6 and number 8 is very significant in this pile um i am also seeing that once you cross this fear in your life you will find your true soulmate okay you will find your true partner now i am seeing that um there are a lot of obstacles only there in your mind like they don't exist but is just been there in your mind that you think that way that yes these obstacles exist but when in reality i am not seeing that it is that difficult it's not that okay so you will have to cross this you will have to listen to this truth coming from a person and then i think your life will shift for good it's just that moment when you will feel a little shook up 
rest i don't think it's that scary for you okay pile three that's what i have i hope this helps let me know in the comments if this resonated and private readings are open so you can reach out to me this is a short reading because we're looking at the kind of energy that is entering in your life so we pick up the most nearest energy the lowest hanging fruit and talk about it so that's what i'm picking up for you guys okay take care i'll talk to you soon bye bye